Well, tonight the Logan Theater held a special preview of a documentary film about an extraordinary Chicago family, seven siblings who survived the Holocaust by hiding on a farm. Yeah, some of the surviving siblings are sharing their story of pain and perseverance with WGN's Mike Lowe. I never thought we'd even get here. The Weber family's name is in lights, prominently displayed on the marquee at the Logan Theater. 75 years is a lifetime. It is a sharp contrast to their arrival in Chicago 75 years ago. To be able to celebrate 75 years is quite remarkable. Stepping into a new world after living a life of deliberate invisibility. It was a sad time, what can I tell you? Seven siblings had survived the horrors of World War II in Germany. Today, 89-year-old Gertrude, 90-year-old Ruth, and 81-year-old Ginger sat together to reflect on their extraordinary experience. The farther we get away from those six dreadful years, memories fade, and it will just become a part of ancient history. Of the six million Jews killed during the Holocaust, one million were children, according to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. But thousands survived by hiding, among them the seven Weber siblings. Alphonse and Zenta, dear Ruth, Gertrude, Renee, and Judith, Bela. Today is the 75th anniversary of the exact day the Webbers arrived in Chicago's Hyde Park after spending two years in hiding from the Nazis. Their mother and extended family members had been swept into concentration camps. I also um, didn't know my, why my mother was taken, and she was. I was home alone with her, and uh, the Gestapo came and took her away. In 1943, farmers Arthur and Paula Schmidt took in the Weber children, hiding them on their land about 40 miles east of Berlin. They were living in a laundry hut on a farm, seven people, seven children in this laundry hut. While the children were totally vulnerable, relying on others not only for sanctuary, but also survival, the farmers also assumed extraordinary risks. They hid us on their farm. They didn't ask anything of us. This photo from the Chicago Sun-Times shows the seven Weber children arriving in the U.S. Yeah, I believed everything they told me on the ship, that the streets of America paved with gold, and I believed them. So I'm looking, looking, I don't see any gold, all I see is asphalt. I was so upset they lied to me. Lakeshore Drive may not have been paved in gold, but to Gertrude, it still glittered. I do remember, I was very impressed with the outer drive. I remember seeing uh, the uh, lighting along uh, the Museum of Natural History. The siblings were split up in foster care, torn apart, yet somehow also restored. But the most important thing is the fear was gone. I wasn't afraid anymore that someone would pick me off the street and send me to a camp. If it all sounds like a movie, that's because it is. A rough cut of the documentary film, Would You Hide Me, is showing at the Logan Theater. The director is the daughter of the youngest sibling. It's a story about courage and bravery and hope. It is a distant but living memory with lessons for today. The story continues to have relevance today. There is tremendous anti-Semitism, which is on the rise. The um, white supremacy movement is, unfortunately, has always been there, but I think it's on the rise. Lives that began in the shadows, now on the big screen, asking us all the urgent question of the film's title, Would You Hide Me? The even deeper question than Would You Hide Me is Would I Hide You? And that's the question that I, I wrestle with all the time and wonder, would I have the courage to do what the Schmitz did for somebody else? Tonight's preview showing was for family, friends, and donors. The film's director says it's not yet complete and they are still looking for some funding. No release date has been set. Reporting at the Logan Theater in Logan Square, Mike Lowe, WGN News.